the new pivot by function in excel is a dynamic array function which can be used as an alternative to pivot table take a look at this table here we have the three months customer data of a travel agency name of the month in the first column customer's name in the second column name of the activity in the third column number of people in the fourth column customer's country in the fifth column and the amounts collected from the customer in the last column now i want to know the amounts spent by different nationalities for each activity such as houseboat jet ski kayaking and shikara for that equal type in pivot by see the pivot by function is listed here first argument or the first input of pivot by function is row fields we want the countries in rows select the column called country control shift down arrow control backspace comma second argument or the second input of pivot by function is column fields we want the activities in columns select the column called activity control shift down arrow control backspace comma third argument or the third input of pivot by function is values amounts are in the column called amount control shift down arrow control backspace comma fourth argument of pivot by function is function in this case we need the sum of amounts for that select sum close parenthesis enter these are the amounts spent by different nationalities for different activities like houseboat jet ski kayaking and shikara grand totals are available in the last row and last column Now let me show you the difference between pivot table and pivot by function. To create the same report using pivot table, select a cell in the data set. Go to the insert tab, pivot table. A dialog called pivot table from table or range is activated and the cells containing data are automatically selected. We want the pivot table in this sheet itself. For that, select existing worksheet. Select the cell where you want to insert the pivot table. Okay. See, so we have a pivot table placeholder. Drag and drop the field called country into the area for rows. Activity into the area for columns. Amount into the area for values. And we have a pivot table containing the amount spent by different nationalities for different activities. Now what the difference between pivot by function and pivot table? Let me change a value in this data set. We'll replace 8500 with 150000. As pivot by function is dynamic, the report we created using this function updated automatically. Now for the pivot table to update, we need to perform two additional mouse clicks. Right click, refresh.